No, uh, and I don't say this just because ethanol is important in Iowa. There are some problems with ethanol, whether it's corn-based or cellulosic, uh, there's some water, environmental issues, but it is far superior to fossil fuels, to oil and to petroleum as a renewable fuel. So I think we have to have full investments in biofuels, biodiesel, ethanol, and, 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 and resolve some of these kinks with technology, with incentives. But I see for Iowa, with renewable fuels, with these uh, uh, corn-based, uh, cellulosic, biofuels, biodiesel, jobs for the future in Iowa, so that Iowa's young people can stay in Iowa, stay on the farm, and not have to leave because of the need to, to have higher wages, and preserve the family farm, and preserve the young people in Iowa being able to stay there and, and raise their families and contribute to Iowa's economy. My point is that, uh, there's a whole range of new investments, and I favor them over oil, coal, and nuclear. I think oil, coal, and nuclear, uh, and our entire dependence on fossil fuels, 65% of imported oil, is extremely unhealthy. So I would emphasize on a whole range of new sources. Solar, wind, biomass, biofuels, biodiesels, distributed generation, fuel cells, uh, ethanol, uh, hydrogen. I think nuclear power has to be an option. But I don't believe it should get the advantages that it gets today with subsidies and tax incentives that the renewables don't get, which I think are much more promising. I also believe you need to mandate fuel efficiency standards by 50% by the year 2020. The auto companies and the Congress want to go to 30, 35. I think that's pretty pathetic. I think we need an energy revolution in this country. And I'll also, also conclude with this. I'll ask the American people to sacrifice a little bit when it comes to energy consumption, their appliances, uh, mass transit, uh, uh, air conditioning. I won't ask everybody to wear a sweater, but I do believe that uh, we need to recognize that being so dependent on fossil fuels is unhealthy and having such a large amount of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere uh, I would reduce them by 80% by the year 2040, 40% by the year 2020, with a cap and trade system that, that is also good for the economy, for the environment, creates green jobs when you're retrofitting homes. And so we need to shift to cleaner sources. That would be one of the cornerstones of my first year as president.